welcome to episode six. Oh, that wind is howling, isn't it? It is howling like crazy. But uh, before I go too far, let's recap what happened in episode five because that was pretty pretty awesome. Uh, as a result of that attack on the artifact, I ended up with some medium armor. I recovered 60 cobalt ingots, 98 safium ingots, I have a T2 mining drill, I have upgrade kits for heavy weapons and laser, I picked up a T2 assault rifle, a sniper rifle, night vision goggles, the best constructors in the game, two advanced constructors, 150 combat steel blocks, 85 hardened steel blocks, money card with 135 credits, lots of medicines, 45 large Promethean field packs, dozens of normal ones. And I went from level 8 to level 14. Right now, map-wise, I'm kind of in that area I told you I might build my new base. And uh, I'm going to start that today. And I'm starting to dig through this mountain right here. I'm going to start playing with it. I've got if you see here in my four slot, I have my, right there is my base core. And once I lay that down, my base will be started. But before we do all that, I'm going to cut away and show you an extract of when I returned to the artifact to try to wipe out some of the rest of those monsters at lower levels. What I discovered was that when I was able to do that, that there was a whole mess of more uh, enemies in the upper levels and uh, uh, it's just uh, too much for me to do right now but I'm gonna cut away and we'll show you what what happened there right, I am back here at the artifact to see if I just can't finish what I already started I'm gonna try to be a little more careful I've, I've got a lot of it cleaned out if uh, if I can find those other spawners, but I'm going to use my scanner more for scouting and uh, see if I can't uh, get down to some of the lower levels and and finish this thing off. Uh, I've probably got these guys here. I'm going to hit these this, these uh, uh, switches down here too and see if it closes the door or maybe stops the uh, these guys from spawning. Okay, there's one guy. Where is the other one? You guys really need to be looking in the right direction. I'll take the Prometheum. You guys really need to be looking in the right direction. Okay, now that's red. I'm going to change all these to green. Well, actually, I think they were on red before. So I'm going to leave them on red. I believe this is supposed to be red up there. Let's see if that door stays open or closes. Or if I get more friends coming at me. It does close. No, nope, so I'll have to leave it open. Hopefully no more baddies are coming after me. So that has to be left open. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, yes, 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 I see you. Come on, six. Die, die, die. I see you coming after me, but die, die, die. Are you all around me or just at one side? There you go. Okay. Okay, I need to take some more of that health potion I got. And let's see what we got here, the health potion. I got these guys here. And that's good. And I need some more of this here, okay. Oh, I see you way over there. Holy crap. You came out of that room, didn't you? So I got guys popping out of these rooms up here now. So I need to find that core, kill it, get down to it. Oh, Jimmy Six. 
Somebody's got a shotgun. That was a shotgun. Okay, let me get some more fruit juice here. Hey, where are you at? Are you down below me? Oh, don't tell me you were down below me. There he is, right there. I don't know if it was him who had a shotgun, but he shot me. Get your toes. Can I get your toes? Maybe not. Let's try a little bit more. There you go. Okay, let me get down here. I still hear noises. Bad guy noises. Oh, wait. They're all over. It's not going to be easy, is it? Getting good stuff, which is good. Probably getting a lot of good experience, but I really want to progress. Walk around here and make sure I got nobody else down here. I hear the bad noises. Okay, let's go down a level. Down low, let's see what we got down here. Hopefully I clear these guys out. Hopefully all those noises are coming down from below me. Oh, where are you come from? Up there? You were up there, weren't you? You were up here. Fall down between the steps. Yeah, I can't get you in here, can I? Okay. All right. Now, if nobody's gonna kill me in here, I'll stay off to the side so I don't don't get really hurt. And grab my stand off here a little bit in case somebody tries to sneak in. Hit my scanner. down here, not all the way, part way, right here. Oh, look at those guys. These guys can still shoot my scanner. There's a, there's a uh, button here. I don't know if I can hit, hit that button because I can't. There's a button there. There's a, two really bad guys with a spawner on each side. And they're walking around. I wonder if I can just stand in the elevator and shoot them. These guys are, are really strong, strong enemies. And then, right down here, another level, a nice red one here. Oh, this is way too much. I'm not going to get this. And what's down here? Is that the, uh, that might be the core down deep in there. I'm looking around for the core. I don't see it, so I'm going to guess it might be might be down that way. But there's a one, two spawners here with way too many bad guys. And really nice looking art, isn't it, down in there? And then uh, another one up here. Two bad guys. Now I could, uh, oh, one bad, what, what, oh, there he is. Oh, are they like warping between places? I don't know. But what I got to do, if they walk near this here, I might be, be able to shoot them. Okay. Now, I don't automatically fall when I go in here. This is an elevator shaft, so I just go down. Hopefully nobody's going to shoot me up here, but that, that would drop my bag again. Okay, go down. You see, I can see that down there a little bit. If I go down just a little bit more and try to shoot them when their legs show up or something, I might be able to get down enough. I'm going to have to 
a little bit more. Not too much. These guys are too strong. I don't think they shoot. I think they're they're melee ca characters. But they're going to be hard to kill. I'll go a little bit more. Just a little bit. Not much more. That's it. That's all I'm going to go now. If I can kill these guys and get their spawner, that'll be a, a advantage to me. Come on. Come on over here more. Or can I? I wonder if I could reach the spawner down here too. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, down here. I was getting up on Raise up. I get, I get hurt. I got hurt a little bit, didn't I? Okay. One dead. Get the other guy and then the spawners. I'm not getting them. Got him. Okay. Spawners. One spawner. Two spawners. But, you know, I can't trust that because, <laughs> as we already found out, there are some secret spawners around here, aren't they? But I'm not going to go... I'm not going to go mess around here until I find out if more are spawning in here. I really don't want to be don't going down here either. Let me see. Let me... Down just a little bit. Just a little bit more. Oh! You hit me? Are you hit? You hit me? Okay, you're down. I'm not hitting those guys. Try again. Got him. Oh man. Cool, got a spawner. Can I get this guy? Oh yeah. I think there's one more animal, right? Spawner in the corner, I see it. No more spawners, but did I take a chance? Save the game. Oh, I see somebody moving back there. Oh, I see people moving in the back. I see people moving in the back, I believe, behind there. I bet you when those things open up, people come out. What's going to trip that up? Picking me picking stuff out of here? Maybe, huh? Heavy armor, fusion cell, combat steel. Let me switch over to the heavy armor. Oh, I don't. Oh, I need to be in an armor locker to do that. I need to be in an armor locker. Can okay, quickly come over here? Get this. Medical device, estrium. Don't have that yet. Laser rifle, pulse laser. So what's left? I have to find the core. You know what? And there's a core down in there. Next is the core. I don't. I don't hear noises anymore. Did I kill everybody? But without. If you kill all the, all the portals. So they can't come back. And you kill all the bad guys. Oh, I didn't even click these guys for it. Look at this, alien stuff. And. Oh, more ATM card stuff. I've lost some of these guys. I, I wasn't uh, hitting these guys, so I don't get all their... Uh, they faded before me. All right, now this breaks. I'll fall down in there. I'm not sure if there's a... Uh, if I want to do that. Wow. I'm not sure what I want to do here. i got to find that core. Core should be something easy to see. 
Well, they hide the course too, but it should be something relatively easy to figure out. Let me look in here real quick. Boy, I am. I am going to go ahead and s stand over here and save my game because I'm chicken. Save it, and I'll hit this button. was a, a turret of course that popped up put on my jack pat come up here hmm so am I gonna guess if I do this over here I get the same thing over at that end let's see It's a red, uh, oh, oh, I hear monsters. I hear monsters. Multi-turret, auto minor core. Oh, great. I hear monsters. So we still have monsters. That might be the guys up on top spawning again. Can I access LCD, other faction? I'm going to have to figure out where, let me go in here and go down just a little bit and see if these bad guys showed up down here again. No, we're good there. And we're good here. But now, ah! <laughs> chimney sakes. Remember to hit the right button, Wayne. Hit the right button. Let me get some juice. All right. Are you rearmed? Okay. Let's climb up and kill this guy. Hi, right, guy. Are there more of you guys around here? Some more of my health now. I don't know if I'm going to figure out this one. I, I, all the bad guys are gone. I, all the major bad guys are gone. These mechanoids are the only ones come back up again. So I think I've done good for now. What is this up here? I haven't been up here yet. Where is it? Oh my gosh! I did not see the upper area up there and those guys just stand up there. Okay, I've got one 220 and I got one regular guy left here for my health, right? Where you at? You're here. Okay, so that's it. 500. I know where you're at now though. So I'm going to get up there and shoot you. I killed one, I think. I know where you're at. Well, actually, let me do this first just to be sure. Who am I dealing with? I killed you. I got just one more. Look at this up here. Spawners, ATMs. That core might be up here. Another, another area up here with more people and spawners. And there's a turret over there. I wonder if this is what's, where they're all coming from. Oh, they're shooting me.
Jesus. Sixth. They're shooting me when I'm using my scanner. You guys. I probably have enough health to shoot up there again real quick, and that's all I'm gonna. Well, actually, I gotta climb up, don't I? I think this is it for me. I've got no more health to spend. So let me get back to my ship before I do something dumb. Well, as you can see, that was pretty exciting uh, in the artifact going around. And one thing to keep in mind is that that is just one location, that artifact. One location. There are dozens of unique, very unique uh, enemy locations, each of them different in their style and different in their reactions. Some are easier, some are much harder. Uh, but dozens of them. It's, it's, it's really, really interesting uh, to uh, win these over one by one and to pacify what you can. Uh, for instance, uh, I've started the space, like I told you here, and the drones are already coming to attack me. Eventually, I will get to the, uh, the area where the drones are coming from, and I can destroy that drone base, and I won't have the drones coming over anymore. But there still will be drones, just the drones that were hitting me will be stopped. But uh, let's see what I've done so far here. Um, I have dug down into the uh, area. I built a uh, entrance into the mountainside here, and I'll show you that in just a bit. And and it's just kind of the basics. Uh, of course, right away I have to have my my cannon turret to defend myself. The drones are coming in from this area here over the hill, which is kind of a a, a little bit of a bad thing because even though my cannon has a 400 meter uh, distance on it, if it won't see it until it pops over the hill, and that gives the uh, drones a chance to shoot a few times as well. Um, and you might be wondering, well, if you have an entrance like this, how is uh, an HV going to get in and get out? And you're right, an HV will not get in and get out of here, uh, the hovercraft, uh, but I have a special reason for that. But I do have my light spaceship will be able to go in and go out of here I have my uh, cannon I have my uh, elevator just go in here hit C and go down the elevator and what I'm going to do and uh, as you see uh, I I hollowed this out just a little bit now this is this uh, uh, can come down and close up if I wanted to or it's still sealed as you can see because it's blue haze this force field still sealed I hollowed it out enough just to make it functional I've got uh, fuel a generator the ammo box for the turret I've got uh, cargo I got my constructor refrigerator so just to, just the basics and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hollow this out enough to build an HP even got a medical facility this is what my score from the uh, uh, the last attack I did you go in here, press F, and if your uh, health is down, you get all your health back. It doesn't give you food, though, and you, as you can see, my food is way down. So before I do anything, let me eat some food. There's one. There's two. How much food do I give that? 106 for that. I'll take that, too. 385. Let's do this again. 465 and I don't think there have anything that's small food there's food 50 but I only need 35 okay I won't worry about it okay so uh, what I'm gonna do is hollow out this area a little bit more to give me enough space to build a hovercraft you say well why am I building a hovercraft well because now with all these skill levels I got I can build really nice uh, hovercraft mining drills and I'm going to stick a bunch of mining drills on the front of the hovercraft, and I am just going to bore into here. Now, I've, I'm, I have my T2 drill with me right now. This is a, a wonderful, let me, uh, no, that's my uh, multi-tool. Let me get to my drill. Here's my T2 drill, which is the advanced drill. Wonderful. So let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Okay, there we go. Uh, two. All right. Remember the other drill I had that had that spinning wheel? This one's got sort of a laser. And it just drills in real nice and real fast. I love it. I love it. I love it. It just drags in. But I don't want to manually go through this whole thing. So I'm going to have a, a uh, open this up a little bit. 
and we'll build a hovercraft, uh, kind of a, I don't have to worry about a lot of things when I'm in here. I don't have to worry about weapons or anything like that. Just a basic hovercraft that has the ability to uh, drill in and store rock in it. So uh, what I'll do, I'm going to cut away. I'm going to expand my little area here so that I can have enough room to build the hovercraft. And then we'll finish this episode by building the actual hovercraft. All right, so we'll cut away. Okay, I think I have enough space to go ahead and build my simple HV. I do have enemy drones on the way, uh, but I'm sure my cannon can handle that. Now, I want to mention something else real quick, too. My whole base is connected here, so uh, it it's understands where the ammo is and all that stuff. But I didn't have to do that. I, I could actually like build another uh, building that's not connected here. And hit N. Remember when we had N and I was doing my debug to check the uh, structural integrity? Doing that, right? Well, on the building side, I have a little section here called Connect the Base. So I can build another area and then click this box here and connect it to the base and it will be connected. So you can have outlier uh, buildings and things that you can you can do do there. I just wanted to mention that, uh, uh, that item. But I'm going to go ahead now and uh, see if I can't put together some sort of uh, drilling uh, craft here. Now the very first thing you have to do is you have to have the uh, starter block, the core. Uh, along with the core, to make it functional you need to have fuel, you need the uh, generator, put that in there, and a cockpit. Cannot function without the copy. So if I have that, I I have power. I can't do anything because I don't have my engines in there, but I have power. So those are, that's the first thing I, I have to do. So let me go ahead and hit 8. And see, the core is different than the base core. It's more flat. And uh, might not be able to see very clearly, but see there's a little like arrow on top of it? it? tells you which way it's pointing. So you know which way to put the cockpit and everything else. So if I see where I'm at here, and I put that right let me go back a little bit right there all right so that's where my hovercraft start is going to be so I got some space back here I don't I'm not gonna really put a lot onto it now if I wanted to I could get rid of these blocks all around the outside here because the core is that part right there in the middle so it comes with a little protection around it but I'm gonna leave all that there and the very first thing I'm gonna do is put my cockpit on there uh, because I want to uh, uh, center it now. I'm going to right click, pick with tiny copy. Oh, there we go. Attack. I've got two drones attacking right now. And, oh, three drones. Two minigun and a base attack. Now, if I wanted to, I could run up there and, uh, and, uh, get the, uh, get the, uh, uh, resources from that, but I'm not going to worry about that. So, here's my cockpit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Uh, I have the cockpit. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my fuel tank. I got two of them, but I don't need, I don't need one fuel tank. So uh, that's a huge fuel tank. Is that the right fuel tank? Let me see real quick. Uh, that is a fuel tank for HV. Yes. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'll put that right back here on this side. I'm not going to do my little uh, synchronized area yet because I'm putting individual items on here. I'll show you that in just a minute. And there is my generator. But I'm going to turn it around and flip it around. Flip, 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 flip. There we go. Okay, so I have the fuel. I have the generator. Uh, also, uh, you have special blocks. These are steel blocks S, small steel blocks. I'm switch them out with these. So these are the blocks that you use to fill in, to fill in things around here to add maybe armor and things like that, or to add some structure to it. Um, but now that I'm back here, normally I'd be putting in all kinds of other things back here, like refrigerator and you know other accoutrements, but I, I, I don't need that kind of stuff here. But what I do need 
is I need harvest boxes. Uh, I'm going to put the fuel tank bank because I don't need another fuel tank. Harvest boxes, I need RCSs. The RCSs allow you stability. The more you have, the more stable and responsive your aircraft is going to be. Uh, a mobile constructor, I'll put that in there. So I can do some mobile constructing. And that's what I'll do for now. So uh, that's the mobile constructor. I'll go ahead and put that right in the middle there. That's fine. And I'll put the harvesters. Now these harvesters, what they do, and I'm going to flip those around too, they will automatically uh, gather the uh, the stone or whatever I'm, I'm pulling in. They, they will gather it in and put it in these boxes so I don't have to worry about transferring it You know, uh, in, in my inventory. It's going to be there. Then let me put some RCSs in here as well. Uh, make things nice and nice and uh, smooth if possible. All right. So I've got that. I need to build out. I don't want to make it too big, right? Because I want to drill in and, and uh, uh, be able to, to maneuver around really, really good. But I'm going to go ahead and put some sides on here. So I'm going to. Uh, do this okay and I'll put the some engines now remember now I need to have engines going in every direction including some main engines as well so let me do this just gives me an idea of the of the width and what I'm going for okay so let's go ahead and look at the engines. I'll, I'll put some more RCSs on later. Uh, the very first thing I'm going to do is put some hover engines on. And the reason why I'm going to do that is that I'm actually going to get into it, put some power into it, and make it hover for a little while while I build some more. So I've got 10. All I need really to start with are four, uh, four engines to start with to raise it up, kind of even all the way around. So I get that there and there there and there so now the problem is I don't have any engine I, I really should put some engines on the side too in case it starts uh, I, I pick it up and it, it doesn't go very uh, 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 evenly and I need to move it around so I'll take some I'll put the thrusters those back there I'll uh, have some thruster S's and some main thrusters as well and the main thrusters will go kind of in, in the back they push a little bit harder than the uh, smaller thrusters um, and then I got boosters as well to work with and lights up front. So I've got the hovers. Let me do some of these uh, other engines, uh, especially uh, pointing up because if I don't have them pointing up, I can hover up, but I'll, I'll never get back down again, right? So uh, let me put this back here. See how it's where it's pointing? It's pointing the exhaust which way the exhaust is going. So if the exhaust is pushing down, that means it is, let's turn it around, see what looks like the other side. See there, that's where it comes out. That's where it pushes. So danger exhaust, I, I believe if I do this direction, it's gonna go um, down. Yeah, it's gonna go down. So let me put this here and that there. And you got to have it symmetric because if you don't, it's going to tilt. Uh, and then uh, let's see, we'll, we'll do it close by here and here. Okay, we'll do that. So I should be able to go up and down now, not so much uh, sideways. So let's. And we can we can practice and see how that works. So let's go ahead and uh, do I have any fuel on me? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. So uh, just need access to fuel on there. Uh, I'll put some fuel packs up to 100%. Remember to start. All you gotta do is hit F on the cockpit. Uh, I don't have any lights on here right now. Uh, I'll put some lights on later. Uh, Fuel tank is good to go. What I'm going to do is power it up. And I'm moving back. See that? I'm, I'm, I'm drifting. And I can't go forward. I can't go back. So I'm going to power off. 
I'll go ahead and get out. And see, I drifted backwards because of the way the weight shift was on here. The balance of the weight. And I didn't have any other other uh, 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 method of moving uh, any direction. So I'm going to go ahead and put my, my other boosters on here to uh, be able to move uh, front and back uh, and do that. Uh, again, this is just simple. I'm not going to do... Uh, uh, any uh, really heavy work on, on this one because I'm going to stay inside here. We're safe. So let's move this guy around. Okay, and that makes it, uh, it's going to be pushing forward. So we'll put that there. That should be pushing forward. And that should be pushing forward. Turn this, or, well, let me get the other side going too. It should be pushing f forward. And if I grab, I only got one more booster here, but I got thrusters. Thrusters should go in the back, so they're, they're a little bit stronger. Uh, so let me put some thrusters up here as well. And these are a little bit, they're two blocks long. They're not like the, uh, the other ones that are one block long. And... Uh, I need to turn that around, don't I? Okay, it's just going to push forward like that. So we'll do that. And we'll do on the outside, right? All right, on the outside like that. And then I'm going to do the backwards. Uh, yeah, backwards. Why is that up front? It's up front. And this one does not. Oh, I didn't go all the way back. That's why. I'm missing one of these things. Okay. Put that right there. All right. Got that. All right. A little ugly there, but uh, I can now, should be able to go forward and back a little faster. I got to watch out that. Uh, and uh, uh, I need to watch out for drifting left and right. So. I don't plan on moving too much, so let's do a a uh, smaller. Do I smaller? I just have one small one here, so we'll have to make another thruster S. So I'll do that in here. I want to make a not small vessel, hover vessel, uh, devices. Yes, let's make three. So just, okay. All right, so I have this here. Let me change this around. And there we go. If I change that around some more. Now that's going to push to the right. So I'll put that back here underneath there. It gives me a, a kind of a point of reference when I put it on the other side. And I'll put it right uh, in front of here as well. Kind of ugly, but uh, I want to go ahead and uh, get this built in a very simple sense. Uh, if I saw it right, I was going to put it right underneath that one there, pointing. Uh, it's, okay, that's pushing to the right. This is going to do the same thing. Push it. Let's push it over. There. Uh, turn it around. Oops. Page up, page down, uh, makes adjustments like that. Oops, I hit page up, page down again. There we go. All right, now that should push to that side. Get the other two. And have it push back the other way. Then I'll have up, down, forward, every direction. Then I can fill in a little bit more on the uh, the other items uh, and put some more RCSs in there to make sure it's it's stable because you know when when I use the HP it's going to not only go straight it's got to be able to tilt up a little bit tilt down a little bit and, and do stuff like that and, and uh, you can't do that unless you have enough uh, maneuverability with it so let me go ahead and hit this around there we go gonna push in that direction. 
and push in that direction. Okay, now let's get back in here. Power up. And I'll get on the outside, which I can't see anything. Cause I don't, uh, but look, I go forward now. I can go back. I can barely go left, and but I go right really good. Okay, well, I'm not sure why I can barely go left, but we'll check it out why. I'm uh, hitting the top of the ceiling. That's why it's uh, bouncing. But uh, but if I get out of it like this, I should be off the ground, and I am. So let me see. I've got engine pushing there, engine pushing there. Oh, I got these backwards. No wonder I can't go the other way. I got those backwards. All right, so that's pushing back. These are pushing up. Up, up. So I gotta flip these around, which which I'll do. But first, let me go ahead and fill. Now I could I could uh, cover these, right? There's no problem with covering these, uh, covering the uh, the exhaust. Just like uh, if you've ever played uh, uh, Space Engineers, same type type of thing there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Kind of make kind of neat here, but I'm going to add uh, the. Uh, actually, I don't, probably didn't want to do that because I want to put the uh, the. Uh, well, I can do that. Put the uh, drill portions on here. Let me go back up to do this. And now I can't get underneath very well, so I'll hit my little drone, and my drone is able to get down underneath a little better than I can. Okay, so do that. Alright, uh, same thing back over here, that's uh, down one more, so I want to make sure I get down one more over there. And that's just so I oh, get back over there and get that out of the way, uh, so that uh, when I stop, obviously, I stop level. Okay, get down, okay, now I can go down the sides of it here. And in between, I can start. I can put some of those uh, uh, RCSs. So let me go ahead and put some more of those RCSs in there. I'll put some in the middle here as well. Um, and I believe you can put them anywhere. I don't think you have to put them near the engines or anything like that. But uh, I have how many more do I have? I have a couple, so I'll do that there. And I'll put that one there. Do I have any more? Sometimes you, I get a lot of these, and y yes, I do have a lot. In fact, I have a lot more of these. I'll just put them all across the bottom, and hopefully have great uh, stability here as I do this. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and it's not going to be a, a super heavy, super. Uh, vehicle so I don't probably need all these RCSs that I have here uh, let's go ahead and put these here uh, the fact that I had that sticking out there I got to make sure my uh, drill will cover it obviously when I, when I go through uh, if I was using this as a scout I have to cover the bottom with armor as well to protect it but uh, what I'm going to do now is I'll stick some of these drills on it I've got six. I may end up with more. So, uh, okay. Look at that, how they stick out there like that. So there's one. I want them all to be about the same distance. So that is, those are back a little bit. I guess if I... No, they're, 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 they're lined up. Okay, they're lined up. Good, okay. So uh, I don't want them to be perfectly symmetrical because they gotta be able to dig around. So th these two will, I have two digging sort of at the bottom here. And then I want two digging at the top. So let me add some blocks up here. That there, there, and then add there. In there. Uh, then I want to have my lights. I got two lights here. I'll put a light 
there. And I'll put a light there. And I'll build two more lights to that. But let's just, uh, for the purpose of this uh, demonstration and what we got so far, let's just see if that works. Get up here. Get in my... Okay, all of that. Look, look how maneuverable it is. Very maneuverable. So now I'll, I'll go on the outside. I'll move forward. And I'll run my drills. Turn to the left. Turn to the right. Okay, now back up. P, look at my harvest boxes. Which are... Where are you at? Oh, you're down here at the bottom. Cargo box harvest access and I'm putting stone in so everything's good so let me uh, go back down I'm gonna bust out of here and I'm gonna call this an episode and what I'm gonna do is just uh, kind of fill this out a little bit uh, make it a little more presentable turn those two uh, thrusters around and I'm gonna drill this out and next time you see me we'll have a little bit bigger this area here at the beginning is gonna be my hangar bay it's gonna be a protective area where I bring in my uh, my vessels and aircraft uh, these have begun when I start building in and adding the extra space and extra rooms and things like that so uh, uh, just because I have a rock in here it's not airtight I gotta actually have this uh, surrounded by uh, a structure to be uh, airtight so uh, thanks for watching the episode uh, a lot of excitement going on here and we're gonna be really building this into our main base because we're in a really good area for branching off getting some resources going after these uh, hopefully low-level uh, uh, alien structures and uh, starting to really make an impact on this alien world. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in Episode 7.